Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Active MQ and Rabbit MQ. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their broker architecture. Active MQ implements two brokers using a peer-to-peer -peer network architecture. Active MQ's broker architecture includes a queue and a topic working in parallel. The queue collects messages from producers and delivers them as soon as the target consumer becomes available. The topic distributes messages to consumers who have subscribed to the discussion. On the other hand, RabbitMQ requires only one broker to run. RabbitMQ's broker architecture includes an exchange point and queues aligned in series between producers and consumers. The exchange point predetermines the direction of the message and the queue acts the same as in active MQ. Therefore, Active MQ is a more sophisticated message broker that supports direct exchange and topic-by-topic -topic broadcasts. Flavors Active MQ is available in two flavors, Classic and Artemis. Artemis is a more capable version of Classic available for direct download. It gives you asynchronous mirroring for disaster recovery and data-driven load balance. On the other hand, RabbitMQ comes in two versions, open source and commercial. The commercial distribution is a more advanced version of the open source distributed by a third party. It gives you extra management and business continuity features. Therefore, ActiveMQ is more equipped natively with productivity features and is accessible. Community if you have a problem using ActiveMQ, you can reach their community through mailing lists or chat via Slack. However, ActiveMQ recommends their mailing lists and considers it their most effective community engagement program. On the other hand, the RabbitMQ community is accessible through a mailing list, Discord server, and Slack channel. RabbitMQ's only recommendation is that you start with a mailing list archive as a solution to your problem may be there. Therefore, RabbitMQ has a more accessible community, making it easier to find instant help. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. ActiveMQ and RabbitMQ are free and open source software you can download and use immediately. They are all fully functional, even when free. To sum it up, which is better, ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ? I like ActiveMQ because of its robust Artemis flavor. I find its data recovery functionality a must-have. I also like RabbitMQ because of its several active community channels. However, I find using a third party to access the commercial version too bureaucratic. I choose ActiveMQ as the clear winner because it has more advanced functionality. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.